So then there are games like Shadowgate. Shadowgate is a game where you encounter a wraith. If you do fucking anything to this wraith, death! <laughs> Go down a hole, death! <laughs> Bellowing like a fool, you leap off the bridge and into the blaze. <laughs> death. <laughs> You finally set your hair on fire. <laughs> you can't even scream because you no longer have a throat, let alone a larynx. I suspect Nintendo of America didn't read all the text in this rhyme. So this game, Shadowgate, is famous for its deaths. But not just because there's a bunch of deaths, because the deaths are all interesting and weird, and the game is encouraging you to explore these deaths. I mean, look at this. This right here, this death, this only occurs if you take use torch on self and you burn yourself badly, but it doesn't kill you. If you keep using the torch on yourself, eventually this happens and you die. So the game decided, what if, what if this guy tries to set himself on fire? Let's warn him away a few times and then let's set him on fire. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're now exploring the narrative of failure. Now we're getting into an interesting place. Now this game, it still has a narrative to the end. It, Playing the game to the end gives you an experience. It gives you a victory. It gives you that ending like other games do. But every time Mario falls in the pit, it's a different thing. It's interesting. We can explore it. And a lot of games have done this, even if you didn't realize it.